Hello, this is Roland. Today I want to briefly talk about uh, meditation again. I just want to remind you that I have a beautiful meditation which is called Easy Meditation. It helps you to get centered, helps you to get out of negative thinking. See, that's one of our biggest problems in life. We go out in the world, we get upset, and when we get upset, we say or do the wrong thing. Then we fall into thoughts, thinking about what happened. See, if, if you met each moment with, with patience, poise, equanimity, wisdom, if you met each moment wisely, okay, and not resentfully, wisely and patiently, then there would be nothing to think back on. Something like a little child, little children, get out of bed in the morning fresh. They run barefoot over the carpet for a day of joyous discovery. And at the end of the day, they sleep the sweet, innocent sleep of the babe. The next morning, they wake up fresh with no memories of yesterday. See, nothing. there's nothing to remember other than some little things they may have, you know, discovered. Uh, but as far as uh, trauma, see, every moment met improperly is a, is a little trauma, which calls us back to it. You've heard of post-traumatic stress disorder. We all have it. But you, you are familiar with the bigger cases, like in a war or someone who from gets mugged on the street or something, and they keep keep reliving it over and over. They keep, see what I mean, keep going back to it. Well, the whole human race began with a trauma in the Garden of Eden to which we keep going back. See, men and women come together, weak men, ambitious men, unprincipled men, see, and uh, they are attracted to the temptation in the lady, and uh, then they come together, okay, and instead of learning to overcome his weakness, see, his ambition, his lack of honor, his lack of perfect principle, and, and learning to love her, love her as a person, not as an object of use, but as a, um, a real person, see, with kindness, long-suffering, patience, see, with a fatherly quality. But instead, he continues to use her, see, doesn't have love, and then she resents him. And she judges him. She can't help but judge him for his failing, because that's all she's ever known are failing men. That's all women have ever known is failing men, ambitious men, see, failing men, users, abusers, see, weak men, weak men. Maybe, you know, you maybe you had a father who was a decent, decent guy, but he was weak, see. So he became a people pleaser. The world was too much, for, your mom was too much for him, the world was too much for him, and he somehow failed you in some unfathomable, mysterious way. He wasn't there for you, see? Well, um, so, uh, so you see now about trauma. So if you go out in the world, get up in the morning. Remember I said little children get up, they don't have any memory from yesterday because there was no failing of yesterday, no trauma. If you get up in the world, you go out in the world, and then you resent somebody. That's a little trauma. You become res impatient at traffic. You resent a slow car in front of you and become impatient. That's a failing. It's a little trauma. Then it draws you back. It'll, it draws you back to it. See, if you have an argument with your wife or your husband, see, you have a scene with your child. You go to work and they dump work on you and you get upset. See, you keep then. Then you lay down at night and you keep thinking. Why did she say this? Why did he say that? Why did he do this? Th reliving the past, trying to rearrange it and make it come out better, more to your liking, see? Or planning for the future. Next time I'll say this, I'll do that. See? And so we keep getting lost in our daydream world of fantasy. We want to be king or queen in our fantasy or judge in our fantasy. We want to be worshipped in our fantasy, see? But when we hide in fantasy, we're not in reality. And when we're lost in thinking, then we meet the next moment unwisely. So the meditation helps you to get out of thinking, helps you to get recentered in reality where the birds are singing, and it helps you to get in touch with your own inner ground of good, your own intuition, 
to which is a, a fount from which see you can draw some wisdom some patience enough for the day every day we pray give us this day our daily bread okay so every day you, j you need enough for the day a little, a little, you download you sit quietly get in touch with your inner ground of good download a little bit of wisdom a little bit of of, uh, of uh, insight okay a little bit of what will become insight a little bit of light okay a little bit of light that will become insight will become realizations see and a little bit of patience a little bit of love see so then you go out in the world you meet the world with with patience that's your first line of defense instead of being resentful now you're patient and then you see you realize what the right thing to do is or to say maybe nothing has to be said but you don't make the wrong move anymore now you make the right move okay because of the meditation you start every day with meditation five minutes or so at noon another five minutes and in the evening five minutes then you're becoming more and more like when you were when you were a little child spontaneous then you meet each moment wisely and patiently and the, and the next morning you wake up fresh without a bunch of bad memories surfacing from the day before because you met every moment wisely see now you understand too why it says in the Bible that we we uh, it was Paul or James that says we we don't mind our uh, temptations or trials because they help us to develop patience okay help us to develop wisdom help us to develop endurance Okay, you meet, if a little temptation comes your way, or vicissitudes of life, this and that happen, if you meet it with some, some wisdom, see, some reason, some patience, maybe you don't get it perfect, absolutely perfect, but better than before. And then you see, afterwards, you see that you met the, the moment well, but you also see you could have met it a little better. See, that, that way you, you grow. You actually use these things that come along. Even if people are mean or cruel or thoughtless, you, you actually can use them. Actually, secretly, you're using them to develop character. To develop character. That's what you leave this world with, with character. What do they say? No, nobody, you know, when you see people, you, when you see the hearse uh, going to the, uh, the funeral, to the, the cemetery, you don't, you don't see it pulling a U-Haul. Because all this, you don't take any of your stuff with you, okay? Except character. When you step over the line, at the end, you step over from mortality to immortality. At that moment, you are the sum total of your existence. What character you have developed, that's what you have, okay? So now you see how this meditation is so simple, and yet it's, um, it's important. So get the meditation. It's free. My name is Roland.